What's going on guys, Flickify here, and I'm back again today with another episode of Career Mode Player Reviews. Today we're taking a look at Ricardo Kishna. This guy was heavily requested by quite a few of you, so thank you for taking the time to comment. And if you guys have any players in particular that you want me to review in future episodes, you can leave a comment down below. I look through all of them and I will try to get to that player as soon as I can. Just keep in mind that I have to get through the current batch of players first. If you guys can also leave a like on this video to continue showing your support on this series, you guys have just been going ham on the like button. That would be very much appreciated on my behalf. And let's get into the episode today. At the beginning of career mode, Kishna has an overall rating of 74 at 19 years old, showing great potential and has an actual value of 2.3 million. When you go ahead and send IX an inquiry, they're going to say 4.1 million. So really not too much more than his actual value. And I just have to say that for under 5 million, Kishna is a steal. And we'll get more into that later in the episode. You can see from his player information, he does have the five star skill moves, which can be a huge pro for a lot of players, especially the skillers. He does have a couple of those stats that aren't the best. Two star weak foot being one of them. His work rates aren't the best. Medium low is not the best for a winger. Preferably, I would want him to have high to medium or high to low. He is left footed on the left hand side, which can be a con for some people, but he does have pretty good height at six foot two. He does have the injury prone and flare traits, no specialties to start off with. And we'll move on now to his player attributes. And you can see he's pretty stacked in the physical and technical department, which is fantastic for a winger. 85 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, and 78 agility on the physical department. For technicals, he's got 84 ball control, 83 dribbling, and a couple other stats in the 70s. But let's move on now and see what he looks like at his peak. We'll jump ahead, and at the age of 31, Kishina reaches an overall rating of 91, one of the world's best, and an estimated value of 4.2 million. Some insane growth for him, and he just becomes quite a player. You can see he does manage to pick up a few specialties, the speedster, dribbler, and crosser. Great for the winger position, and his attributes are insane in a few of the departments. You can look at those physicals and just, just be amazed, really. 91 acceleration, 85 agility, 90 sprint speed, and 90 reactions on that left-hand side. Some of the mental stats are not the best, especially the attacking positioning and the vision. Uh, his vision is pretty good, 91, uh, but on the technical department, look at some of those stats. 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, 97 crossing, 97 short passing, 87 shot power, 93 long passing. I would just be repeating myself if I just keep on reviewing these stats. So let's get into the pros and cons and the clips to follow. I had really high expectations for Kishina going into the games where I played with him because his stats are just incredible. Uh, but for me, he does have a few pros and a few cons as well. Of course, the first pro I have to talk about is the 5-star skill moves. I'm not much of a skiller myself, but it definitely doesn't come in handy every now and then, and I definitely abuse that Burba spin, uh, as you'll see from some of the clips, like right here. But his dribbling is also really, really good. 96 ball control and 98 dribbling just creates quite a player. And his passing and crossing is spectacular. 97 short passing, 93 long passing, and 97 crossing means he can play really well outside on the wing. For most of these clips, I played him at striker just so he could score a couple more goals, but I think he plays best at the winger position. We'll get now into the cons, and I do have a few to talk about. His first one I want to mention is his work rates. He seemed to be out of position when I did play him as the winger. He just wasn't getting forward enough, and the medium-low work rates seemed to really be uh, not much of a benefit for him. Uh, as well as that, his weak foot is just atrocious. Two-star weak foot. So anytime you want to cut inside and use that right foot, uh, just think twice about it because sometimes his shots are just going to be completely horrible. And finally, I have to mention his finishing just wasn't good for me, especially on his right foot. Nine, uh, 68 finishing, just that's not very good for a 91 rated player and I expected so much more. Overall though, for under 5 million, I have to give him the rating of 9 out of 10. And with Ricardo Kishna on your team, you'll most likely have the skills to pay the bills. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, this has been Flakify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.